What's up, dispatchers? We're back with another YouTube video. So y'all want us to be dispatchers? Let's talk about love boards. My dispatch team, I currently use um, DAT low board and truckstop.com. So today I'm going to show y'all how to read the low boards, what the acronym mean, and how to sign up and get a subscription. So as I mentioned before, we use the DAT low board. That's the low board we're going to go over today in the video. Um, to get to it, you could just Google DAT or DAT.com. Um, when you do, you're going to sign up. Actually, let's just go to Google and do it because I am already logged in going to sign up if you haven't already and for just dispatchers you just want to do the trucker's edge standard it's forty dollars a month um you'll collect you'll click by now enter your information and then they'll give you access to the load board when you get access your dashboard will look something like this where it'll have load counts on there and then some other blog information on there because they have a blog as well and in the morning when you wake up, depending on how many um, carriers you dispatch for, you'll want to post your trucks on this link right here. And then what you'll do is you'll create a new post where your truck is, where, where you want to go. You're basically posting to let brokers know that you have a truck available to take a specific route. And they could reach out to you to ask you questions or inquire about the trucks that you have available. The dates that you have the truck available from, how long your truck is available, what size loads you can do, for instance, full or partial loads, what type of truck you have, the length, how much weight you can carry, your contact information, right here will be your deadhead, which will be characterized as DH when we search loads. And then once you put all that information in, this will highlight into blue and you'll click it and post your truck for the day. Right now though, we're gonna talk about searching loads. So we'll come over here and we'll click search loads. <clears throat> And today, um, one of my carriers wanted me to get down from St. Louis to Indianapolis. So we already have a search in here. So the origin was St. Louis, deadhead, which means how many miles you are away from that specific area or that specific load. Um, and he wanted to go to Indianapolis and how many miles, for instance, you may book a load that's 20 miles away from Indianapolis. So that's deadhead destination. So the origin deadhead and then deadhead to destination. So you may not stop right in Indianapolis. You may stop on the city outside of it, but you're 20 miles away from the destination you want to go. So you're 20 miles away from Indianapolis. Um, it's very general, general, it's not specific. Specific meaning like if you have like certain requirements such as hazmat, things like that, you can click specific. Truck type, vans, flatbed, or reefers, that's the V, F, and the R. The length in feet is 53 feet long. You could have a shorter truck, 48 foot, or if you're doing box trucks, then you could do 16, 20, 22, 24. Also, if you do hot shots, then you'll put the length of your trailer here. The weight, depending on, it depends on the type of truck that you have. Some trucks can go, carry up to 26,000 pounds. Um, trucks that require CDL class A license can carry more than that. So you'll put that here. The type of loads you're looking for, either full or partial um, loads that were posted. So look back means how many, how long, how far back do you want to go to a load was posted? So you, you know, we want to go back 24 hours. Um, from when the 26th and then you want to end it on the 26th so loads not posted after that date <clears throat> or if you want to <clears throat> excuse me if you want to search from the 24th to the 25th then you'll put the end date here and then you'll just click search and the available loads will come up not many 
but we also had a very tight window as well as far as the date. So the first one here is the pickup. This is the date, 727. The origin is Edwardsville, Illinois. So from St. Louis, <clears throat> that zip code to Edwardsville is about 29 miles. The destination is Greenfield, Indiana. So it's about 21 miles from where he actually wants to end up, Indianapolis. Um, the, top, the trip miles is 248. The equipment is a van, dry van for 53 feet. The weight of the load is 39,399 pounds. It's a full load, which means you will only load at that carrier. The brokerage that, off, that is offering this load, that is offering this load has a factoring company. This is the company that is offering the load. This is their comp, contact information. This is how much they're offering the load for. And then they have a book now option, or if you don't want to take that, then the contact information is over here as well. The pickup hours, the dock hours, and you could just call them and book the load with them. They only have two stars, which is not really good, or two and a little bit of this third star. That's not real good, but it's up to you if you want to give them a chance as a dispatcher. Um, I don't, they don't, they don't have a credit score yet. They don't, they also don't have days to pay. So they could be a new broker, <clears throat> but you know, I'm not gonna tell you not to give them a try, but just use, a, use your best judgment in a situation like this. So let's see, let's look at this load. They have three stars. I wanna see if we can find one, they have one star. Find one with a better rating. Um, So here's one. Let's just look at this one. Pick up 727. St. Louis, no um, deadhead miles. So deadhead means when the truck is traveling empty. That's deadhead. So for instance, if he picked up in Edwardsville, he would have to travel empty from St. Louis to Edwardsville to pick up. And then he would drop off in Greenfield, Indiana and travel to Indian Indianapolis for 21 miles empty. As a dispatcher, you can negotiate those rates into a rate when you're talking to a broker and I'll show you how to do that. You don't necessarily tell them, oh, we wanna get paid for that head. You kind of just add up the mileage and kind of factor that in to the rate that you negotiate. But going back to the load we're looking at, it was posted five hours and 23 minutes ago from St. Louis. No, no empty miles to Indianapolis with no empty miles to the origin or destination, sorry. The trip total is 243 miles for a van or a reefer. 53 foot, the weight is 45,492 pounds. It's a full load. They offer factoring. Their credit score is 95. Days to pay is 22. Um, and the company that's offering it is Pepsi Logistics Company, which is Pepsi, which is pretty good. They don't have an offer on here, which means you can call and negotiate a rate with them. And they also don't offer automatic booking, which is fine. Give them a call, see what rates they're offering. They offer factoring. Um, if they're a broker, they also have a bond. So with this little one star right here, just in case you're a little skeptical, you can file a claim on their bond. But that is basically it. That is how you read a low board. Um, you can book loads by calling the broker or you can do a book now and send the information to your carrier. Or if you already have your carrier's information, you can fill out that information for them and just send them the load. So it's as simple as that. That's how you read a load board. Um, again, if you guys are loving this information, like, share, comment, and subscribe. For the questions about the dispatch, dispatching course, um, it is coming. It was supposed to launch July 15th. However, I had something to come up, so I'm still working on it. It is coming out pretty soon. I also want to do a live dispatching course, which I may post on my website tonight. that will be linked down below. And also, even if you purchase the live course, if you're still unable to attend the Zoom session, it will be recorded and sent to you in an email. So you'll still get the class even if you don't show up. Um, so that's it. 
um, the next video will probably be a live call on calling carriers and then doing the rate contracts or rate confirmation, carrier broker contracts, carrier dispatcher contact contracts and things like that. So take this information and let's get to it. Happy dispatching. See y'all next time.